guys, it's me once again. I'm back for another Jurassic World Primal Attack toy review. We're taking a look at the Indominus Rex, the store and devour Indominus Rex, and the Earned the Last Seas at the same time. So once again, it's a dual review, just like the last review I did, which is the Triceratops and Dilophosaurus review from Dino Arrivals. And as usual, before I take a look at these cool looking figures, going right with the package first. So, um, let's go over the Ornith the Lessies package first. As usual, this is the Primal Attack Attack Pack uh, package, which is a lot smaller and it has the same aesthetic as the Charlie figure that I've gone over. Again, I love this aesthetic a lot. This is one of the best aesthetics for a um, toy line for Jurassic World. And as you can see, it's like they got the fencing over there and the, the like the colors is awesome <laughs> in my opinion. Like I usually have to say, it's beautiful looking. And they got the Jurassic World logo up there. The um, Primal Attack aesthetic as usual. The Ornith Alessi's name, Owen in blue. Again, Claire should be there, but whatever. And again, I opened the package the same way Jurassic Toy 2000 opened the package, even though it was a lot more sloppier. So, uh, I'm trying for me trying to open that. Anyway, there's the scan code uh, compatibility up there. The logo again, and other figures you can get. We already got the Under Delessis. My little brother has the Herrerasaurus and the Draco Rex, but I didn't even check to go get this guy right here. But I'll definitely be getting that dinosaur soon. And over here, nothing really interesting. So, none of that one. And the Destroy and Devour and Diamond Rex has this big package right here. Just a big blown up version of the uh, aesthetic of the Primal Attack toy line. And I honestly wanted to get this version because it looks better. Well, it looks really amazing. Got the logo up there, the whole beautiful aesthetic, the Primal Attack aesthetic right here, like the striping going on. Like, again, this is a really cool aesthetic. And then you got the demonstrations of the uh, Indominus Rex over here, pressing that three times, activating more sounds, and, uh, the light up feature on its neck, the slash, roar, devour, which is cool, destroying the Valor Indominus Rex, Owen and Blue again, and the Mattel logo right there, flipping over at the Backside, we get this amazing looking picture with Owen Grady, the one who looks like a normal version of Owen Grady from Jurassic World, either the first movie or Fallen Kingdom. It looks more like the Fallen Kingdom Owen, but they try to hide the uh, scratches at least. You really took that back. That is actually a different kind of Owen Grady, just that they never released that one to begin with, I guess. And it looks like it has swivel arms. Like, you see that right there? There's a joint on the uh, hands right there, swivel hands. Swivel wrist, that's what I meant to say. It's all like they got swivel wrists in this one, so I don't know where this figure is. And again, here's the Indominus Rex here, looking awesome as usual. And then you got the Attack Pack Velociraptor Blue right there. Then over here, the action feature demonstrations again, but this time with Raptor Echo. And um, I feel bad for Echo in these pictures. And the other dinosaurs you can get in the line, all of these are from Dino Rivals. And there's a trigger warning, small parts warning and batteries and one dinosaur included and the website fax app compatibility the story and devouring dominus rex and the jurassic world logo and all that good stuff at the bottom so yeah we're done so as with this review i'm going to start with the smallest one so let's go and move the indominus rex out the way for a little bit getting a close-up of the onithalesis and it looks really really cool i mean for me I like a new scope once in a while, and this is one of them. So let me open the jaw, see a little bit more of a display right here. Again, I'm really, uh, I'm really fond of with this scope. It's really um, interesting to be. I don't know why, but this reminds me of a Coelophysis, <laughs> like the ones from uh, Kenner, the Coelophysis Kenner dinosaurs. I mean, you get my drift. I like the paint job as well. It's got this really dark brown. Got those. Uh, orange over here on the head on the near this head and the eye and then you got these um i guess you might call it cream colored striping i'm not sure but it's like a cream to some like almost lime light lime green i don't know maybe but that's how i see it then it also continues down on the tail like this is one more pattern they added right there on the other side you see the same pattern and i also like the color they use for the bottom looks really nice and then there's the scan code and the Jurassic World logo right there and the feet actually look a little too big but that's just to help the stability so I don't have a problem with that 
the way the arms are sculpted in too they look uh, nice and again this one has a neck joint much like a Gallimimus or the uh, Dracorex or Mesosaurus as well and I also like the detail and they came up with this figure it's really really interesting and the moment I saw this figure I wanted to get this because it looks really interesting to me so I think the newest sculpts are always gonna pique my interest even if I don't buy all the new sculpts but again this is a this is a really cool figure I love it now let's move on to the Indominus Rex here's a close look at that head now obviously this is film accurate it's amazing the way they implemented the dark paint over here on the head area and the eye just makes the dinosaur all the more menacing even though I have it up the light but right here there's what this is what I'm talking about when it's darker over here it looks menacing over here it shows but let's see if I can try yeah but again that looks amazing the detailing and the uh, scaling like all these scales all these ridges these spiky bits everything about this Indominus Rex beats the Hasbro one out the water and if anything, I do not own that Hasbro one. That was my little brother's. I think you might recall that in the review I did back in 2015. But again, I'm just happy to own an Indominus Rex. This is like such a beauty. Like this, all these pebbles, the spikes, the the way the paint's been implemented. It's just all movie accurate. Even though it could be a little bit more added to it, but I don't really bother. I don't really bother too much about it. And the tail is also a little stubby, like it's a little short. Could be longer, but the dang figure still stands up pretty well with the feet it has right here. And the feet are nicely sculpted. They aren't anything like that. Uh, the crap that you got from Hasbro, where it's hard to make the dang thing stand up because it's front heavy. And um, again. The pebbling, the detailing, I have to say, it's amazing. I don't know if I should go even any more through this because it's just amazing. And then here's the arms. They do remind me of the Indoraptor to some degree, but yeah, again, that's how the Indominus Rex looks like anyway. Again, this is just more detailing to show over here from the side. And okay, this looks awesome the way I put the light towards it. And I can open the jaw without activating the action features. As you can see, there's details over here. There's texturing in the tongue as like the uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex, the biting fight Tyrannosaurus Rex and the teeth they're not friggin too stubby even though there's not that much on it but they're not stubby they still look great compared to the Hasbro one and uh, the underside so there's yeah there is a lot more texturing on here it may look like there's more shadows on there so yeah that's nice and flipping it over, we're going to see the scan code from Dino Rivals, which is really strange. They could have released it with the Primal Attack logos or the Primal Attack coloring, but eh, it's Dino Rivals. So it's a straight up repack. And there's the Jurassic World logo down there. And there's no paint on the other belly, but that doesn't matter. Dinosaur was all bright gray, but yeah, that's the detailing and going over that. And um, yeah, this is a pretty wonderful Indominus Rex. I freaking love it. Pressing this button at the back on the tail would obviously activate the roaring features. And it lights up. Pressing the button over here will activate the claw slashing. Even though this is more likely grabbing something so Demonstrate that a little bit, even though it might not work out well, but let me try it. You can only knock it down. But I think I can fix the positioning. There we go, he grabbed it. I have an ACU trooper who is also a pilot from the Jurassic World Destructosaurus playset that I reviewed earlier in 2018. And it looks like the Indominus Rex wants to eat him. Might be a little difficult for me to do with one camera, but of course you can pull the dinosaur down and the legs will obviously make the head go down like that and it will look definitely cool so let's give it a shot let's try this with the lights out so we're gonna give it a shot when the food goes down the throat there's a button over there that activates the crunching noises You can see the figure right there. 
Okay, let's regurgitate this guy out. There's a size comparison. I got all these available dinosaurs here, including my custom Tyrannosaurus Rex from the New Discovery. And right up alongside the Indominus Rex and Indoraptor. And I have Ray from uh, The Rise of Skywalker right there to have the human scale comparison because uh, I want to try to experiment. Because I think as much as I like this figure, I want to experiment with the size comparison with uh, human figures. So of course, Ray is being towered over by the Indominus Rex and Tyrannosaurus Rex, the bite and fight version, and the Spinosaurus as well. And I especially like how these two look good together. Finally having both the Endoraptor and the Indominus Rex together, it's just so dang fun. Alright, so I'm going to turn the lights off and conclude this review of the Indominus Rex and Onithalestes from the Primal Attack toy line of Jurassic World. I really love both of these figures. They're really amazing, fun to play with, and of course the Indominus Rex is obviously a much better upgrade over the Hasbro version, and no, I will not be comparing that one because no one even cares about the Hasbro one anymore sometimes. But anyway, like, yeah, that's all for this video. Hope you guys enjoy this, and I will be seeing you guys later.